Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we're talking about how to light people with glasses to make sure there is no glare. been there a million times you get everything set up your client for your corporate video or whatever walks in or the director wants someone with glasses and you have a heck of a time getting rid of that nasty glare there are a lot of factors including coating of the glasses themselves the size the angle at which the lenses are set up bifocal all kinds of problems but after shooting literally hundreds of interviews and hundreds of these videos um, I've had to figure out how to work around it. So today we're going to cover a couple different tips to help us figure out what's going on. I have a small LED panel and several of my old glasses, which will be really fun. And uh, we're going to go ahead and figure this thing out. So um, the first thing to think about is angle, height and distance of your light source, mainly your key. That's usually where the problem comes from. So I'm gonna set this light to the lowest level and right there, bam, big gnarly uh, glare in my glasses. Um, these glasses do have decent coatings, um, so they're pretty resistant, but you know, to an extent, there's just nothing you can do. Um, I have the light pretty low, as you can see here. And uh, one thing you can do is just grab your iPhone and point it at the person and kind of move it around. Try to find a good angle. So luckily these glasses and a lot of glasses I have found um, do well when you go up and over to one side. So a good first tip is to raise your light, which is where it really should be. It shouldn't be perfectly at the level of whoever you're filming. It should be a little higher and angled down toward them and then move it off to the side and continue to move it away until you get rid of that glare. Now you might end up with something like, you know, this where you have this real dark side of their face. That's where you bring in your foam board and you can fill that back in. So something like this, no foam board, excuse the cable noise and foam board. So that's a great way to fix that. Even if your light is coming from the side, you can still fill it with a piece of foam board or a five in one reflector or what have you. Um, so that's one tip. Another tip is to make sure you have a large soft light source. So if I start to look over here, you'll start to see my light, my key light reflected in my eyes, but you'll notice it's not as noticeable as this little hard light source. So this has no diffusion on it. It's just light smack in my face and my glasses. But a big soft source is very, very, um, there's not a lot of distraction there. It's very soft. It's very nice and easy on the eyes when it comes to transitioning. Um, so that is a great tip is use a really soft source. You can use this with a sheet of diffusion, a four by four uh, frame, or like I have here, a giant soft dome from Aperture. Um, that would work totally fine. And that's really going to help with that distracting glare because this is really distracting. There's a small source that just keeps bugging people as they're watching the video, whereas a large source isn't going to be nearly as bad. Just to prove this, I'm gonna to switch to a couple different glasses. I'm gonna go way back in time to my mostly hipster days <laughs> and the giant Warby Parkers. I can't believe I used to wear these. Look, look at that, it's like almost like cat level crazy. So let's go ahead and fire up our small light. I think my head has grown too. These feel a little snug. Now these glasses are a little more difficult to light because of the size of them. But same thing applies. I can raise the light and uh, move it over to one side and I don't have as much of an issue. Another nice thing about using soft light is with these thick frames, see the shadow right here um, underneath my eye, that's really, really distracting. But by having a softer light source, you're not gonna notice that nearly as much. So try to stay away from really harsh sources, diffuse your light, it's gonna get rid of those nasty frame shadows. Um, you, another thing you can do is bring a little bit of fill down kind of underneath them almost to get up in those giant dark crevices that really thick frame glasses will give you. Now the worst type of glasses are sunglasses. I'll put them on here, so much uh, reflection, um, but our same tips apply as before. Uh, I'm kind of blind here in the studio. There we go. So there's my light going up off to an angle, bam, we've lost the glare. Uh, most sunglasses kind of have a, a more round, so they catch a lot. Because they're darker, they also show a lot more. But again, 
big, big soft light source is going to do a great job of making that look acceptable. Like that's not bad. It looks, you know, you can tell there's a light reflecting in the sunglasses, but it's not as bad as, you know, that. That's really annoying, like a, seeing a small source. So once again, just to recap, and I'll take these off because that's really annoying. If you're shooting an interview or whatever with someone with glasses, um, do a quick test with your phone figure out where's a good angle that's going to eliminate that um, you know, reflection that's direct, move the light up and shoot kind of down at an angle and then work on rotating the light from in front of them around until you find a really good angle where as they move around, you're not immediately seeing it. And then use a large soft light source so that when they do look over and there is a reflection, it's very soft, very minimal, not very distracting and try to stay away from those hard sources that are going to be very distracting in people's glasses and those hard sources will also create those really weird uh, shadows from the glasses themselves so hopefully that helps you guys with lighting people with glasses i totally get it it's a real pain um, but there are some ways you can work around it so if you have any tips for lighting people with glasses definitely let me know i love to hear them otherwise you can find fresh videos here at dslr video shooter every single week Happy lighting, and I will see you in the next video.